This is such an exciting time here at Champion Life Church. This is week two of our five-year anniversary. Boy, it was exciting last week to look back at the younger years of Champion Life Church. Let's go right now and talk to some people who were there. And I can remember when, when Eddie and Tammy, Pastor Eddie and Tammy, first told us that they, you know, it was in their hearts to come down here and start a church. It was like, you know, we just looked at each other and it, you know, it was an absolute confirmation that, yep, we're, we're right where God wants us to be. This is going to be amazing. Uh, the, the church, you know, knowing Pastor Eddie and Tammy's heart, the church is going to be absolutely amazing. So we started out on Sunday nights at the Civic Center. It wasn't a glamorous place to meet, um, but it absolutely was that we were able to draw people in. And um, if anyone's ever been to the Civic Center, it's, um, it's the multi-purpose room is where we met. And there are mirrors on most of the walls. Started out in the Civic Center. There were services where there was a whole six of us, and I think we were all on staff. <laughs> And uh, the pastor would get up there and, and do it. We'd do full praise and worship, and pastor would preach the full sermon. Uh, but we made the most of it, I would say. Uh, it was lots of fun. It was quite quite the time in our church. Um, we would we pack up church and um, into the big trailer and back up everything. We'd had these the famous uh, the the famous yellow carts. And and you know we had to tear down afterwards and stuff. And and even at that time, it was like it still felt like family. And now we're. Church of, I don't, I don't even know how many people we get here on a Sunday now, and it still has not less, lost that family feel. We started meeting um, in the uh, Rancho 16 theaters, and uh, that was definitely one of those uh, those times in, in our church and in our life that um, it brings back fond memories, because um, I would remember Sunday mornings would start, it'd be an early rise, it'd be a four o'clock uh, wake up call, and Pastor Eddie would show up with the... He'd show up with the coffee, of course, Starbucks in hand, and uh, and man, we had some great times. We'd roll up, we'd have to show up at the house where the trailer was, get that thing hitched up, and then back it up to the theater. And uh, we'd have again, we were we were an efficient team. We uh, we got in, got out. We'd set up a big stage, risers, and uh, those were some great times. And then the fun really began because uh, with the with the limited team that we had, um, you know, we were all serving in multiple uh, capacities. And I remember there'd be times where uh, we'd start the service off in the worship team and then run off to uh, to watch the kids in nursery and then, and then come back to finish off the service. Yeah. And uh, those are some of the times I remember that uh, that that were really, they were very memorable for us. And it's so great for us to be able to share stories and real life stories of people that have walked through these doors that have been totally miraculously changed and healed or restored uh, because of what God, what God has done through this body and through this church. You know, they've really, they've really created that atmosphere where you know, if, if, if you'll come with an open hand and your willingness to do your part, um, you know, that they're willing to really steward the gifts and give you opportunities to grow in the gifts. You know, the, the children's service here is awesome. The kids every week come home and, and you know, they say, want, Mom, Dad, want to hear my Bible verse? And, or they're learning sign language with the Bible verse. Uh, they love their teachers, all the friends, you know, they're, they're, they're telling us about their friends in class and what they learned and Noah's Ark. And, you know, it took me back to my childhood in, in uh, Sunday school. And it's, it's awesome. I'm so glad that we have a place where my kids can grow up learning the things of God. We're having fun with the bun in the oven. Stop, don't say that. <laughs> We're doing our part to grow the church as much That's as we right. can. I've been the leader, the leader in population. I love that church. Right. Pretty much since the church started, a little bit after the church started, um, we desire to start our family. And a lot of you know the struggles that we've been through with infertility for four years. And our little miracle joy, Franco, is here as a result of God's amazing grace and this amazing church family. Yep, when we say we don't do life alone, that's really what we mean here at Champion Life Church. And uh, we're living proof of that. Wow, it's amazing what can happen when dedicated people work hard to turn a dream into reality. If you look around this place, you can see all over the legacy that these families have built. Wow, that is so true. Now we're going to go and look at a video from some pastor friends of ours saying congratulations to pastors Eddie and Tammy. So here is Pastor Jim and Marguerite Reeve. Congratulations, Eddie and Tammy and Champion Life Church. Five years. How great. 
I think it's so appropriate, you guys, that as you gave, as you supported pastors, both in the United Kingdom and America, you know, uh, as a family with Bethany and Daniel as well. And now it's your time. You know, you for years you guys gave. And now God is as you gave getting me back to you started with what a handful of people and you guys are running hundreds and hundreds that's pretty cool <laughs> you're running thousands already it's <laughs> only been five years well look at it this way you guys are just now getting out of kindergarten so the real journey is just beginning as wonderful as the last five years have been and as much as you've already been a recipient of god's grace i promise you this eddie tammy champion life the best really is yet to come